Hello everybody, we're here at RemoteCon with yet another very interesting product demo on remote work tools. Here with us now we have Miro, the online collaborative whiteboard platform to bring teams together anytime and anywhere. Miro offers a collaborative whiteboard platform that is designed to allow distributed teams to work effectively together. It supports running brainstorming sessions and workshops to planning and project designing new products and services. Miro has over 5 million users in 20, 000 pay and 20,000 paying customers, including 80% of the Fortune 100. Miro provides seamless integration with applications like Atlassian, Jira, Confluence, Sketch, Slack, Trello, Box, and Google Drive in order to support existing workflow for their customers. It brings together the benefits of a collaborative whiteboard session to everyone in a global, in a global company, regardless of their location with a secure and scalable solution. The service is available either in a browser or via desktop, Android and iOS app, and it can also be used on tablets and interactive whiteboards. The company was founded in 2011 by Andrei Kushid and Oleg Sardin, and by now it counts over 300 employees in five hubs worldwide. For our demo here today, we have Lindsay Meredith, Product Marketing Manager at Miro. Hello, Lindsay. Nice to have you here. Hi, Alexandra. Thank you so much for the intro. It seems that in this um, world of remote working that we've been pushed into, um, a way to collaborate better is absolutely essential. Can you please tell us how we can do that for Miro? So today we're going to go through a brief demo of Miro. Miro is a collaborative online whiteboard, as Alexandra said, and it's used by remote teams around the world. Remote teams are using Miro to really rewrite the rules for what's normal, to create those magic moments where innovation happens on their teams, to build processes and a shared understanding that allows them to work cross-functionally, and to build a remote-first culture that's transparent and creates a virtual space where teams can come together. So the platform itself is a whiteboard platform. It is collaborative. So I have my teammates here on the board with me. I can see their cursors. They're moving around in real time. And it is an infinite space. So I'm actually in Miro right now. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out so you can see that we're actually on a Miro whiteboard now. So it's an infinite free form space where we can work however we want to work. Miro is also available across all devices as well as in the browser. So how can your team use Miro today? What can you do if you're just getting started? A great way to use Miro is to host a collaborative remote meeting. You can also use it to replicate the whiteboarding experience using digital sticky notes like the ones we see here, as well as visual maps and diagrams. Miro really enables teams to work together as if they're in the same room. We see teams running meetings like project plannings, retrospectives, online workshops, and brainstorm sessions. In this video here, we have a large scale meeting that happened at Miro with over 80 different people collaborating in real time. It really enables you to democratize voices. Every cursor you see is someone engaging with the board directly. So we don't need to try and speak up over each other on a remote call. We can actually just all work simultaneously at the same time. It's a really powerful tool. For facilitation and managing large groups, we have some great features built in to help you with that. At the bottom of the interface here, you can see our collaboration toolbar where you can launch a video, a video call. You can also set up a timer. So you can time box the different activities that will happen during your meeting. You can run a voting session. So take an anonymous vote from your team. And as a facilitator, you can also summon people to your area of the board. So when everyone's on the board, you can click on your icon at the top and select bring to me, and it will call over your teammates to the area of the board where you are presenting and allow them to follow along with you. Now, when your team's working together on the board, there's a variety of different activities that you can do. It's an infinite whiteboard, so the possibilities are really infinite, but we see teams doing things like freeform drawing. This is especially powerful on like a tablet or a touchscreen, wireframing and sketching, creating diagrams and maps, mind mapping, and of course, using digital sticky notes, which is one of our most popular features in Miro. In May alone, Miro users created 49.5 million stickies. Sticky notes are a really great tool. You access them from the left-hand side uh, toolbar here. And there's a ton of different colors you can use. You can also add them in bulk. So if you are creating lots of ideas, you can just add a bunch at one time. 
You can color code these. You can add tags so that you can really organize these and sort of like, you know, visually map your ideas, group and cluster. So it's a great visual tool. Now, let's say that you already have some sticky notes in your physical world, like maybe on a whiteboard or maybe posted next to your desk at your home office, and you want to share these with your remote team. Miro has a great tool built in to help you do this called Sticky Recognition. And I'm going to show you how to use that now. So on the left toolbar here, I'm going to click these three dots, and then I'm going to click on Sticky's Capture. Now, what this is going to do, it's going to allow me to take a photo of a whiteboard with sticky notes and automatically digitize that. So I just clicked upload and now Miro is scanning the photo. And it's going to identify all of those sticky notes for me. And then I can click add to board. And as you can see, Miro is going to automatically convert those sticky notes to fully editable digital sticky notes. So you're never going to have to manually transcribe your whiteboards or email or Slack message back and forth photos of whiteboards. Just snap a photo, put them on your board, and it really helps you bridge that gap from the physical to the digital world. And once you have them on the board, you can do lots of different activities like clustering and mapping and um, really taking those ideas to the next level. Beyond just ideation and brainstorming and working with sticky notes, Miro has tons of templates and frameworks built in to help you go from idea into action. Some really popular templates we have are the user story map, the Kanban board, as well as timelines and journeys. And you access all of our templates from the left-hand menu here, where you can browse through hundreds of templates. You can also visit our online community-generated templates at Miroverse. Um, and you can also browse our templates online at Miro.com slash templates. So we would love for you to try out Miro for yourself. Miro is free to sign up and our free plan gives you unlimited users and up to three free editable boards. So definitely go and check it out and see how it can help you and your remote team. Thank you very much, Lindsay. Um, one question that went through my mind was, do you also have, um, I associated, for example, with Google Sheets, right? This is like the closest thing to home in my mind. Uh, yeah. Do you have uh, versions or history of it? Or how do you see, for example, if somebody overlapped information with somebody? So Miro has a ton of integrations built in, and we have a two-way integration with Google Drive. So if you are working in Google Drive, let me go ahead and authorize this. So if you are working in Google Drive, you can actually type, and let's find my doc here, feature list and select. And I can actually embed a Google Sheet right onto the board, fully two-way integration. So I can edit this, um, share it with my team right from the board. There's also another great tool that you can use with this Google Sheets integration, which is gonna allow you to take items from a Google Sheet. And I can just uh, highlight those, do a copy, go back to the board and press paste and it will generate sticky notes for me. So let's say you have a sheet full of user insights from user research or survey responses. You can grab those, drop them on the board as stickies and go through and start doing visual clustering and mapping really easily. I can understand very much how that can be useful. Have you seen uh, maybe any changes in behavior for um, your customers ever since maybe uh, the pandemic started or in the past few, uh, couple of months? And maybe what features are they using most lately? Yes, we since the pandemic started, we've actually seen um, a large uptick in the amount of real-time collaborative sessions. So one metric that's really important at Miro is collaborative boards and seeing how many people are getting together at the same time. And we've seen that grow immensely um, over the course of the pandemic. The amount of sticky notes generated has gone up as well. And we've seen a real growth in the use of our video chat tool. We recently released some updates and improvements to our video chat tool. And the number of minutes um, that people are using monthly in the video chat tool has really grown as well. That's very interesting. Um, what is, or what would you say is most suitable for is uh, any type of department that uh, uses Miro or um, any type of industry that's more and more drawn to it? We see Miro used in a really wide variety of companies. You know, Miro is represents the whiteboard, and, and the whiteboard has always really been the heart of team collaboration. So 
It really serves anyone that gets a benefit from doing a whiteboarding activity. I would say that we're used pretty heavily within product organizations, engineering, design, um, and we are also used in marketing to help them to create campaigns. Uh, anywhere where visual, mapping, diagramming, seeing the big picture is valuable for you, Miro is a great tool. Um, and um, you've actually shown us a video with uh, very many people on the same board. Is there like, um, let's say, a recommended limit of people that are going to go on the same uh, on the same whiteboard at the same time? <laughs> yeah, that was quite <laughs> impressive. <laughs> yeah, so Miro is actually built on a multi-user engine. So it's built to handle large scale groups at the same time. Um, we've actually seen a growth in the number of larger sessions over the pandemic as well. Uh, we see people doing like large scale like OKR plannings, PI plannings, annual plannings, where they're bringing all of their company or a huge department together to work remotely, where they used to be able to do that in person. Now we allow them to replicate that online. So we guarantee up to 200 users simultaneously on the board without any performance issues. And we've actually seen customers go beyond that even as well. It's very interesting. I would be actually very curious to, to go in a, in such a session to see how it works. Yeah, uh, if you go onto our, our Twitter feed or if you search Miro HQ on Twitter, people are posting screenshots and video clips of their groups doing this all the time. So it's a fun place to browse and see how other people <laughs> are using it. Do you also have maybe a learning community or something like that for people to start using the platform? We do. We have Miro Community, which is a really active community. Um, and we also have Miro Academy, which is a place where you can go through a full um, learning curriculum, starting with Miro Basics and can specialize into either your role or what you're trying to achieve in Miro. So let's say you're trying to do UX work or you want to facilitate sessions or run remote meetings. There are videos for all of those. Uh, you mentioned something on the pricing and on, on the free plan, uh, but what about um, the paid plans and for like many more boards than just the, the three that you can start with? Um, what's, what's the situation there? Yeah, for a team who's getting started who needs more than three boards, we would recommend the team plan. So that will give you an unlimited number of boards and you will pay per seat for a team of five paying annually. That'll be $40 a month for you guys. And um, that's a great place to get started. Now, if you're with a larger organization where you need multiple teams or you need advanced security capabilities, we have plans to assist with those. Also, the business plan and the enterprise plan, which are great options um, for larger organizations. What about you as a company? I'm assuming you're using this every day in your day-to-day -day work. Uh, you're, um, are you a remote company yourself or how are you approaching this for, for the company? We, as as ever since the pandemic started, we are 100% remote as a company. So we've been 100% remote since um, early March. Um, but before that, we have always been a distributed company. So we take a hub approach where we have um, talent spread throughout the world. And our leadership team is also spread throughout the different hubs. So distributed collaboration is at the heart of Miro. It's really our DNA. Um, and so it's really key for us to use Miro, uh, not only to run these real-time meetings, but also for asynchronous collaboration. You know, we work with people in different time zones around the world, and Miro really helps us to work asynchronously to sort of pass the baton when we sign off for the day to our next teammates so that we can achieve maximum productivity. And how do you, how do you feel this remote work environment will evolve, and uh, what role do you think uh, Miro will be playing in it? We're seeing more and more companies see the value of being remote. And we really see Miro as being that hub where teams can come together in a digital space. We're seeing this more and more, the importance of replicating that experience of being together on the board. So being able to see my coworkers, replicate that ex collaborative experience of being together online. And we think that Miro is you know, the closest thing to being together in person um, as teams you know, develop in their remote policies and, and move forward, it's going to be, how can we recreate innovation? How can we um, stay competitive and move fast, work cross-functionally? And we believe Miro is going to give teams that space and that shared context to achieve that. Thank you very much, Lindsay. Thank you very much for being with us and for showing, for showing us through Miro. 
Thank you everybody Absolutely. for watching. Basically, whether we want it or not, we've been pushed into a new era of communication and collaboration. And in this, uh, in order to be able to function better at work, we need the proper tools to do it. Check out Miro on the Remote Phone website and tune in the conference for more on remote work tools.